Hello my students, class 9. Today I want to start, actually yesterday I started already, that is chapter 2, Early Vedic Civilization. I want to give some little bit of revision today, that is Early Vedic Age was organized, was, Early Vedic Age was known as agrarian, that is rural society, whereas Harappan civilization was urban in character. That is early Vedic age, it is rural and Harappan civilization was urban in character. Number two point, keep in your mind, you may note it in your diary, that is in your copy, the Sapta Sindhu region is believed to be the first permanent home of the area is the Sapta Sindhu region is believed to be the first permanent home of the aliens. It was here the hymns of Rig Veda was composed. It is believed that in the Sapta Sindhu region the hymns of Rig Veda was composed. Now, sources, next point, important point, which you have to remember. And I told you my students in my previous class that in every chapter sources are very important. And here and sources are generally two types, literally and otherwise archaeological. Now sources to reconstruct the early Vedic civilization, the Vedic literature of the areas is divided into two broad categories. Number one, early Vedic literature. Number two, early later Vedic literature. So number one, early Vedic literature. Number two, later Vedic literature. Now, the Rig Veda, this is very, very important from your exam point of view also. Many times question comes on this, that is, which literature, which part of the literature is considered as the earliest literature? The answer will be the Rig Veda, the first of the Vedas is probably the earliest literary work that humanity possesses. That is the Rig Veda, the first of the Vedas is probably the earliest literary work that humanity possesses. Now then, all of my students, you then you open your book, all of you open your book, that is, hmm, what information do we get from these Vedas? Why Vedas are so important? Now the deep Vedas help us to know about the society, about the society. And in the society, about the religion, Indra is the most favorite god of Rig Veda aliens. So, first point is about religion. Indra is the most favorite god of Rig Veda aliens. He is considered to be the rain god. He is considered to be the rain god. Now, in the Rig Veda, the god Indra is called the Puranda. Now, another important point keep in your mind that is in the Rig Veda, the god Indra is called Puranda. Now, next point is first most important god was Indra. Next to Indra is Agni. Next to Indra was Agni. So it is clear, my students, that nature plays very important part in early Vedic period because it, 
the society was based on rural society, agrarian society. Now, next in importance to Indra comes Agni. Now, next point, next point regarding the religion, nature. There are so many references to the cow and the bull in the Rig Vedic hymns. The cow constituted the most important form of wealth of the Rig Vedic Aryans. Now, then, because we know my students that literature always plays very important part because literature is known as the mirror of the contemporary society. So, regarding the caste system, we come to know from the from the early Vedic literature. That is the Rig Veda. The Rig Veda. The Rig Veda tells us that the society was divided into four parts. First one, the priest, known as the Brahmins. The second one was the warriors, known as the Khatriyas. And the common people engaged in agriculture, trade and industry. They are known as the Vaishyas. The servants and workers are Shudras. This differentiation was based on occupation. The differentiation in the society was based on occupation. But the class division was not very sure. The society was very liberal. It was based on the principle that people were equal. Now, another important point is the early Vedic civilization, it was based on non-iron. That is, this was the non-iron using phase of the Vedic history. During this time, we did not get any uh, evidence so that we can say that early Vedic people used iron tools or anything made of the iron metals. So the society was non-ironic. Now the next point, the early Vedic society, the early Vedic society, very important. The basic unit of the social structure was the family. Now in the 21st century also, the society is based on the family is the main center around which the entire society revolves. So my students, we know that you just think of your own family. Family plays very important role. Now, the early Vedic society, the family. Now, the basic unit of the social structure was the family. The joint family system was prevalent. The houses in this age was built of wood or wheat. The Rig Vedic society was patriarchal in which Grihapati, master of the house, dominated in family and social life. Very important. So what is the main thing of this? Family plays very important role and the entire family society was patriarchal. That is, the male member of the family plays very dominant role. Number two, position of woman. Women were treated as being equal with men. They took part in all religious rites. Women were given education and there were women scholars who composed hymns and were well versed in the sacred scripture. So the my students position of the woman, the woman plays very important role and they were treated equally with the men. They took part in all religious rites. Women were given education and there were women scholars who composed hymns and were well versed in the sacred scriptures. That is, it means that the women are also very educated. Monogamy was the usual practice, though polygamy was also practiced by many. Monogamy means one husband, one wife. That is, the male person used to marry one woman, but also polygamy, that is, one husband and many wives. It was also in practice, but monogamy was the usual form of the practice. Now, 
child marries the sasti sister and father did not exist during this time so the society was very developed because all this evil, evil practices that is child marriage sasti sister and the father did not exist among the aliens the women attended all the social functions and the gatherings the society was so liberal that is the women attended all the social functions and gatherings next point my students the fourfold varna system that is the fourfold varna system what is that one him in the that is the society was divided into the fourfold varna system and the rig veda refers to us four orders of the society the brahmans the khatriyas the vaishyas and the shudras the people who explain the vedic text and perform the religious ceremonies were called the brahmans so the people who explain the vedic text and perform the religious ceremonies were called the brahmans those who belong to the ruling class were the khatriyas the common people who were engaged in agriculture trade and industry were the vaishyas the shudras were the servants and the laborers who did not have much to their own the laborers they used to work hard but they had not nothing of their own scholars are of the opinion that there were considerable social mobility in the rig veda vedic society so the scholars they were of the opinion that though the society was divided into four four systems still there was the, the people were quite liberal and there were the mobility of the people among the various caste there was no ban on the taking of food cooked by the shudras and no restrictions on intermarriages or change of occupation people easily change their occupation and there was no strict norms regarding the intercaste marriage and no system of untouchability because if the people of the shudra system class the cook the people of the higher caste they used to take the food the rig vedic economics the culture the rig vedic economy was agrarian in character number one agriculture so the economy was based on agriculture that is the rig vedic aryans were mainly scattered in villages they paid for plentiful bread and a plant bountiful harvest large herds of cattle and the good health that is the economy was based on agriculture the people used to cultivate that's why they used to uh, depend on nature and on the domestication of the animals so number 2 point is domestication of the animals this is very important number 3 the crops men and women were engaged in weaving cloth number 4 trade transaction the people were engaged in trade that that is the number trade transaction the people were engaged in trade cloth and leather goods the main items that is the people were engaged in trade they used horses and bullocks for carrying goods from place to place they also transported goods through the inland rivers now my students in my to be up till this go through all the uh, things that is the topics which i discussed today in my next class i will discuss about the political life and the vedic religion okay and that will be the end in my next class probably i will come to an end of the early vedic um, civilization in my after that the latter vedic civilization and the question answer will um, will be based on comparison of the early and the latter vedic period okay my students wish you all the best 
See you in my next class. Okay, thank you. Okay.